Hello, everyone. Um, I'm very happy to be here. Today, it's a kind of special day for C12. It's the uh, day for that we release our first product uh, for all the quantum developers. Introducing uh, Callisto. So Callisto is an emulator of uh, the future C12 quantum computer that are in development. And um, I hope Callisto is the first of a, of a long series, uh, as many as there are moons around uh, Jupiter. Uh, they are between 80 and 95, so <laughs> we have a time for a long series of uh, C12 uh, products. <coughs> So C12 emulator is a software uh, product that emulates um, and, and that uh, imitates exactly the uh, function, functioning of real uh, quantum hardware. Uh, so it's based on our unique uh, technology. Uh, we have a very unique way of uh, building a quantum uh, processor. And um, <coughs> Our tech can offer uh, unprecedented uh, qubit quality and uh, fidelity of uh, basic operation. And this is what exactly what we put into Callisto um, to make this technology uh, for the first time available for a quantum developer. For the moment, no quantum developer has actually ever tested uh, our tech. So I'm uh, extremely uh, thrilled uh, to uh, share this announcement with you uh, today. So we build quantum computer uh, differently. Uh, we build also a quantum emulator uh, differently. Other quantum emulators, they are actually based on uh, a constant probability of error. And this like, kind of theoretical uh, probability of error is actually not linked to any real physical uh, spec or parameter of uh, the quantum hardware. And also, it's most of the time um, based on a proprietary uh, language. So with Callisto, what we did, and um, we worked very hard for, for this, is that we program actually all the quantum phenomena that occur during a computation into Callisto. And <coughs> this ultra-realistic noise model uh, really unable to have uh, ultra-realistic uh, simulation of quantum circuits. And on top of this, we actually made the link between the performance of uh, specific components on our quantum chips and the results of a quantum algorithm. And this is very interesting because um, you then have a way to understand uh, how, what, what kind of target spec you can uh, have on a specific component to achieve higher performance on your quantum algorithm. And last, uh, don't have to learn a, a new language to uh, launch your quantum circuits on uh, Callisto. It's uh, uh, compatible with uh, most of the mostly available uh, software development kits, uh, starting with uh, Qiskit and uh, OpenCASM. So it took us uh, nearly a year to uh, develop Callisto, and because the idea was really to offer an ultra-realistic uh, noise model and noise environment. So in this first uh, configuration, uh, in the first version of the product, you have uh, the, all the, the errors related to perturbation of the electrostatic environment, what we call uh, charge noise. We have also other errors related to mechanical uh, perturbation, uh, so the phonon noise, and <coughs> also the noise coming from uh, the connection of our qubits to uh, its quantum bus. On the screen, uh, you have actually uh, just, it's just one function uh, that describe uh, the effect of one sources of error or, or one decurrent channel. Uh, and it's, as you see, uh, quite a lot of work. This uh, function is uh, more than 100 uh, lines of code. Callisto provides quantum developers uh, a way to compose uh, your quantum circuits, to um, run a simulation, and also to compare uh, the outcome 
uh, of this noisy simulation with uh, ideal uh, simulation. So for the first uh, configuration of um, uh, the, the, our uh, uh, emulator of, of Callisto, uh, we choose this, this uh, configuration. Uh, so 13 uh, qubit, so 13 qubit for June 13th, uh, but the, it, it, won't, it, it won't be a, a 14 qubit available tomorrow. <laughs> then uh, at one point it would be very hard to, to follow. Um, and <coughs> this, uh, the, the configuration is based on uh, the performance of our real hardware that uh, we measure, so experimental uh, measurement in the lab. And um, this uh, results on this uh, very uh, high fidelity on uh, basic uh, operation. Uh, so this is, uh, I think, kind of game-changing. So for the arbitrary rotation around the x-axis, we can achieve 4.9 fidelity. Uh, for the arbitrary rotation along the y-axis, uh, it's also 4.9 fidelity. Um, you have the rotation around the z-axis for free, uh, no error, uh, as it's a virtual gate. And for the um, two-qubit gate, for this configuration, we choose the I swap, uh, and this is uh, so what is uh, the, the penalized the most, the outcome of uh, of a noisy circuit, but we already achieved nearly uh, three nine uh, fidelity, and. <coughs> On top of developing this uh, ultra-realistic uh, simulation environment, uh, we also had uh, some interesting feature. The first one is uh, noisy is initialization. Uh, so you can really uh, prepare your initial states uh, in a noisy way. Again, it's really to have something as close as uh, possible to the real uh, hardware. And also mid-circuit measurements. Uh, mid-circuit is something that you can do with an emulator, but actually cannot do with a quantum computer. And it's really the, a way to look uh, into the computation while it's uh, occurring. So you, you really have access to the full density matrix uh, during all the processing of your quantum circuits. For who and uh, to do what? Uh, so <coughs> The Callisto is available for all quantum developers to really test uh, new use cases or to test an existing uh, quantum algorithm and to understand also uh, the, um, the scaling law of this, uh, of this uh, algorithm. And it's always very interesting because um, you, are, you can have actually very good surprise. When you run uh, a quantum circuit into a, a ultra-realistic environment, uh, the, 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 the computation time is, uh, can be actually different from the theoretical uh, computation uh, time or, the, or scaling law. Second uh, is for academic researcher who wants to um, develop, for example, new quantum algorithm, especially those who are robust to uh, specific noise. And uh, it's, in this case, very important to have a very realistic uh, noise model and <coughs> also develop some new uh, error mitigation technique. And last, for students, uh, I think it's a great way to discover uh, quantum computing and to learn uh, this exciting new field. And this is for free for all the students and uh, quantum startups. Uh, it's available uh, now, fully available on uh, OVH uh, Cloud uh, very soon. And <coughs> if you want to access it, so you go to uh, your OVH Cloud account, uh, public cloud, AI notebooks, and then you can have access to uh, Callisto, the C12 emulator. Again, uh, thank you very much. Uh, very excited to share this uh, news today. Um, it's <coughs> a first product. Uh, it's not error corrected. Uh, so uh, feedback are, are welcome. And we will also try to improve uh, repeatedly our, uh, this first version of the, of the product. And a huge thanks also to the whole uh, C12 team and especially our uh, software development team uh, and theory team who did an uh, incredible job to uh, make this first product available for all the quantum developers. Again, thank you very much.